questions here. Not all of them, as I probably won't have time to do a video for each and every question, but I'll do some of them uh, via video response. So this is a response to user uh, in Indra Varuna, who writes, uh, the neocons like Victoria Newland and the Kagans still rule American foreign policy. They want a confrontation with Russia. Do you think World War III is near? Uh, this is a very good question, a very important question, so thank you for it, but it's not a very easy question to answer because there are about a million variables on this point. If you want an in-depth response to this, you can go to my recent Beard World Order episode with uh, Guillermo Jimenez and Pierce Redmond, where we talked about World War III, what that means, how it would play out, what the consequences would be. We had a big, long discussion about it, so there's more, much more than we could uh, possibly answer in just this uh, short little video response, but I think the long story short is that I don't believe that uh, the, the World War III confrontation with Russia is going to start tomorrow, and I tend to believe that there's uh, bigger bigger forces at play than, than sort of the nation-state system being pitted against each other. I think that's kind of the two-dimensional chess game that we're seeing right now. I think there's a three-dimensional chess game that involves ultimately the creation of a global government from the ashes of the nation-state system. So I see that as the eventual outcome of some sort of World War III scenario. But what form does World War III take? Who are the participants? What sides do they line up on? Uh, will this be an actual military confrontation? Or have we entered the age of cyber... Uh, warfare and, uh, and economic warfare and other such uh, measures instead of the dropping of bombs. I mean, there's a lot of different nuance to this discussion. So again, I'll point you to that recent Beard World Order episode. And I will say that, uh, that we are obviously entering into some very, very geopolitically unstable times. And because of that liquefaction of the geopolitical chessboard, Pretty much everything is on the table right now, including some sort of hot war scenario, but I don't see that coming in the near future. I do.